Hello Parkwood families, I'm Miss Allen, the principal at Parkwood Middle School. In this video, I would like to address the two major changes we see from elementary school to middle, dress code and changing classes. Just like you, we will face challenges and confusion this school year as we navigate through the issues caused by COVID-19. For that reason, we have chosen not to make any changes to dress code or to the bell schedule for this year. While this is new for sixth grade students, we feel the consistency is important for our seventh and eighth graders as well as for our staff. In the event that you require any assistance, you can always reach out to Mrs. Schmidt, our sixth grade guidance counselor. First, let's discuss pants, skirts, skorts, and shorts. All bottoms must be solid navy blue, khaki, gray, or black. Skirts and shorts must be at least fingertip length. There should be no graphics or patterns. Pants should be cotton, cotton blend, or corduroy. The following, denim, velvet, knit, flannel, or yoga bottoms are not acceptable. Tops must be a polo with a collar button-down dress shirt, or Parkwood spirit wear. These shirts should also be solid royal or navy blue, white, gray, or black. Spirit wear from other schools is not allowed. Sweaters, sweatshirts, and hoodies must be one of the following colors, royal or navy blue, white, black, gray, or Parkwood spirit wear. These clothing items may be solid or a mix of the approved colors. For example, a black hoodie with a white stripe down the side is permitted. Outerwear, however, should not contain any other colors. For a full description of our dress code, please visit the Parkwood Middle School website and go to the tab for parents. Finally, I'd like to speak about our bell schedule. Students have four blocks each day. First is a core class. Second block is a core class and lunch. Third block is also a core class. And fourth block is related arts and PE. Transitioning between classes can be overwhelming at first, but most students will be comfortable by the second week of school. Teachers are on hand in the hallway during all transitions to monitor students and help them get where they need to go. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope this will help ease your transition back to school.